cleaning up the Jeep after the... I'm gonna charge my uh, chainsaw battery up. This doggone chain came off. This chainsaw when I was... There we go. Whoa! Lost it. Well, it rained all night. That uh, trip I took the other day, the Jeep didn't get all that muddy. I just screwed it off with my hose here. Even the high lift wasn't that muddy. My boots were the muddiest, I think. My boots and my clothes. The inside of the wheels right here. There was a lot of mud build up in there. I'm going to take a trip to Seattle here tomorrow. So I had to get that all cleaned up. Get my To balance my wheels, I could tell that my wheels were out of balance because of the mud in there. So I got that cleaned out. I got some more cleaning to do. It's not that bad. Get a little bit on the steering wheel. And there, a mud chunk. That's all I've got off this thing, so that isn't that bad. Quite a bit stuck under there. Under the valance, and then that skid plate, that first skid plate had some mud built up on it. But All in all, not too bad. I just got to get that inside cleaned out for my trip. I'm going to go see the grandkid. It's kind of nice to be able to go out and do a little four-wheeling one day, and then... Big long trip on the freeway. Cherokees are good for that. Things bone stock, so I could kind of do both. When I was using that jack the other day in the mud, doggone uh, climbing pins got stuck. I had some WD in the back, and I squirted a little bit on there. Just like that. To clean those pins off, and then it started working again. But the dang thing was this stuck with the Jeep in the air, so that would have been a real pain. I suppose I might have been able to Throw some water on there or something, but I'm glad I had that can of WD to just put a little squirt in there. Squirt a little more around in here. Good enough. Everything's working again. All right, working a little bit on cleaning up the inside here. Made a little progress. I got this fan in here to kind of dry it out a little bit, then I'll hit it again. But it's cleaning up pretty well. It could be a little work though. Not bad. There goes the fan. Got my tent. There's the rain fly. Set up in here, drying out. Got the ceiling fan going. Get this thing all dried out. There's the tent itself, drying out. My sleeping bag, drying out. This stuff wasn't too bad. Gotta maintain everything or get mildewy. When I lifted the tent off of my cot, there was a big pool of water in the bottom of my cot. The, uh, tent kept that out of my sleeping bag because my sleeping bag was dry that was good I was impressed with that and I kept I kept dry inside there and it was raining like crazy it's been a few weeks since I was up in the woods and charged this saw in the uh, Cherokee so let's check and see how the battery is sitting after all that work all that cut we did in the woods it's been sitting for two weeks. We got two lights. After sitting a couple weeks, it's still got a good charge in it. That's about where I left it. What I wanted to do with that saw today is cut this branch out of this flowering plum tree I have in my front yard. This one branch is kind of a wild one there. That branch is coming out. So we'll see how the saw does in this uh, flowering palm.
Let's see what we got left of that little bit of cutting. It's kind of cold out here. We got one light left. The battery's probably pretty cold. It froze last night, so this was sitting in the garage. Did a good job of cutting through that stuff. All I got is a bunch of little branches to do now. After cutting up all the branches, I still have one light left, so still have a little charge. Doesn't seem to get any weaker. I was just cutting little branches though, but got it all cut up. Here's our stump. Well, how big that is, not too big. Maybe four inches, five inches maybe. Pile of wood we made, then we got all the smaller branches in the recycle or the compost bin, whatever the heck ever they call it. Got quite a few in there. 